And where do you see the anima manifest in life? On a, on a primitive level, it, is, uh, it appears in men generally as a, an element of romantic, unreal, mostly sexual fantasies. And uh, you see, for instance, in puberty, when young men are very active and then suddenly they become passive and dreamy and they are not there, and their performance in school goes down tremendously and one has the feeling where is that where has that young man disappeared he's in the clutches uh, up to, to the neck of uh, daydreaming sexual fantasies in that age it is a normal transition but if a man gets stuck in uh, indulging in wishful sexual fantasies he literally falls into the hand of a vampire. He, he loses his capacity of taking his own life in hand. He loses his willpower. He loses all his male efficiency. And he just daydreams all the time about women and their curves and would-be romantic adventures and so on. He lives in an unreal life. I saw once a man who was 43, still living with his mother, who had never approached a woman. Uh, he, he, I, I asked him, what on earth are you doing with your sex? And he gave a secretive smile and didn't confess. I, he, he just masturbated widely every night. And then he, then he dreamt that he was in daytime living an ordinary life, but in the nighttime he was living on a luscious island where he had wild sexual adventures with women. That was the fantasy world into which he had disappeared. In, in a primitive tribe, one would say such a man has been bewitched. He's bewitched. We would say he's locked into an infantile attitude to life. He's being devoured by the mother.